हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू न्यू क्लास टूडेज क्लास इज अबाउट क्यू फैक्टर ऑफ ए पारल सर्क्यूट ऑलसो बैंड विड्त ऑफ पारल सर्क्यूट एंड ऑलसो अबाउट दि मैग्निफिकेशन इन दि पारल सर्क्यूट कंसिडर द पारल आर एल सी सर्क्यूट शोण एंड इन द सर्क्यूट द कंडीशन फॉर रसन ओकेर्स when susceptance b equal to zero or xl is equal to xc that is we have admittance y is equal to g plus jb where g is the conductance and b is the susceptance and g is equal to 1 by r b is equal to j omega c plus 1 by j omega l and we can write admittance y is equal to 1 by r plus j into omega c minus 1 by omega l the frequency at which resonance occurs is when b is equal to zero that is when omega r c equal to 1 by omega r l or we can write omega r is equal to 1 by root lc that is omega r is 2 pi fr or we can write fr equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc the voltage variation with frequency is shown in the figure and from the figure we have bandwidth equal to f2 minus f1 and for the parallel circuit to obtain the lower half power frequency we have omega 1 c minus 1 by omega 1 l equal to minus 1 by r that is omega 1 square plus omega 1 by r c minus 1 by l c equal to 0 or we can write omega 1 equal to minus 1 by 2 rc plus square root of 1 by 2 rc the all square plus 1 by lc similarly to obtain the upper half power frequency omega 2 c minus 1 by omega 2 l equal to 1 by r and from that omega 2 is equal to 1 by 2 rc plus square root of 1 by 2 rc the all square plus 1 by lc therefore bandwidth equal to omega 2 minus omega 1 equal to 1 by rc or we can write f2 minus f1 equal to 1 by 2 pi rc the quality factor qr equal to omega r divided by omega 2 minus omega 1 or fr by f2 minus f1 that is equal to omega r by 1 by rc that is equal to omega r into rc also q is equal to 2 pi into maximum energy stored divided by energy dissipated per cycle and in the case of inductor the maximum energy stored is half l i square and energy dissipated per cycle equal to power into time that is i by root 2 to the all square into rt that is q is equal to 2 pi into substituting in this equation we get 2 pi into half l i square divided by i square by 2 into r into t is 1 by frequency or we can write 2 pi into half l i is v by omega l the all square divided by i square r that is we can write v square by r into 2 into 1 by f so on rearranging we get 2 pi f l r divided by omega square l square 
and that is equal to r by omega l that is q factor is equal to r by omega l in the case of parallel resonance circuit and this is in the case of inductor and for a capacitor the maximum energy stored is half cv square and energy dissipated per cycle is power into time that is v square by 2 into r into 1 by f therefore q is equal to 2 pi into half cv square divided by v square by 2 r into 1 by f that is 2 pi f c r or we can write omega c r that is q factor is equal to omega c r in the case of capacitor next is current magnification current magnification occurs in a parallel resonant circuit we have the voltage applied to the parallel circuit is V is equal to I into R. And current through the inductor IL is equal to V by XL. That is I into R divided by omega L. Or we can write IL is equal to I into R by omega L is Q factor. Also IC is equal to V by XC. That is I into R divided by Xc is 1 by omega C. That is I into omega C R. Or we can write Ic is equal to I into Q. So the current magnification occurs in the case of a parallel resonant circuit. That is the current flowing between the capacitor and inductor is much higher than the current supplied by the source. Therefore, we have a resonant current step up in a parallel resonant circuit or current magnification occurs. So, the important formula in this section are Q is equal to 2 pi into maximum energy stored divided by energy dissipated per cycle or q is equal to r by omega l equal to omega into c into r also q is equal to from this equation we can write q is equal to i c by i also i l by i and also q is equal to r by xl and xl is 2 pi frl and substituting for the resonant frequency 1 by 2 pi root lc and we get a q is equal to r into square root of c by l next is the comparison between series and parallel resonant circuits in series resonance effective impedance is lowest at resonance whereas in parallel resonance effective impedance is maximum at the resonance Force current is maximum at resonance in series resonance and source current is minimum at resonance in parallel resonance. Voltage magnification occurs in series resonance whereas current magnification occurs in parallel resonance. Series resonance circuit is called acceptor circuit whereas parallel resonance circuit is called rejector circuit. Bandwidth equal to R by 2 pi L and q factor equal to x by r that is xl or xc by r also equal to 1 by r square root of l by c also equal to vl or vc divided by v in the case of series resonance circuit and in the case of parallel resonance bandwidth equal to 1 by 2 pi rc and q factor equal to r by xl or xc equal to r into square root of c by l equal to i l or i c divided by i thank you for watching the class if you like the classes please like share and subscribe for more classes on electrical engineering